Okay, here is the application menu for Mini HD SE. This is basically the the internet uh, and networking functions for it. There's YouTube. It's pretty self-explanatory. It plays YouTube videos. RSS reader. This is where the firmware update notifications are from us and different uh, categories from Yahoo News. You'd arrow over to the right if you wanted to read one of these. Click on it. That's all there is to that. Weather forecaster. Hit the green key. Type in your city. Unfortunately, you only have to do this once, or once for every city you want to add. Alright, there's our weather. It's in Celsius, of course. In USA, at least, we probably want to hit the blue key, and it gives, us, give it, gives it to us in Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. believe you can put up to five cities in there. All right, Google Maps. We're going to go for satellite because I like it better. America, USA, USA. We'll do Chicago since it's already set that way. Click on begin. You get the idea there. You can also hit the search key to uh, look up a location instead of going with the, the pre assigned ones. FTP, something we're, we've been working on for this box and experimenting with. Yet Amico downloads from us. Right arrow over, hit connect. Documentary, movies, and TV has different stuff from our Amico live streaming channel that you can download right to your USB drive and watch whenever you want or watch on a computer or another STB. Something like this, you would hit OK to select it. Hit red key to confirm. This is telling you where it's going to download it so you don't lose it. Then that downloads. I think I just canceled it out there. Utilities. Download the channel editor if you want directly to your USB drive. We'll have other stuff on there at some later point. Apparently I already have it on there, but that'll put the channel editor on the drive. Guides, these are a bunch of uh, PDFs. They don't match the new GUI because they're all from the the older uh, alley boxes. You can download these, put them on your drive too if you want. Look at them on your computer. That's basically it for the FTP. Now, Web TV. This comes pre installed with the service we're currently running.
can add your own channels to it as well. It will do HTTP H264 based transport streams. Doesn't do a, a huge wide variety like an Alien or an Alien 2, but it does some. DLNA. I still don't get the idea behind this since I network different ways, but it supports uh, DMR for DNL or DLNA, so you have to have some sort of controller or something in your DLNA device, and then you can send media right to the mini HDSE. Mm -hmm. Big too small. This is the real cool thing. We have a different video demonstrating doing 422 Live with it. This will come automatically enabled so it's on and working. You can turn it off here if you want, if you're never going to use it. It doesn't matter. But this will allow you to stream to Android tablets, Android STBs, phones, uh, whatever your Android devices. You can take your live satellite signal, including 422, and port it over to those devices. All right, here's the games on Mini HD SE. I don't know why we're even going over this. It's kind of self-explanatory. You get uh, Tetris Snake and uh, Orthello, whatever that is. Do your setup, start. Play games. Oh, fun.